Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweda with it and I try and this tutorial I'll show you I can easily get better skin tones using this free preset within Photoshop. So I'll show you I can easily locate it. If at all you have a slightly older version of Photoshop or if at all you updated it and you don't have it anymore in Photoshop. So I'll show you you can easily use and use it in the most effective way possible to get a warmer skin tone and a better skin tone for free without even having purchased presets and i have a couple of presets that i have to sell to you guys to support the channel and these are going to be working on all skin tone types and those are known as my gradient skin tone packs but this is not going to be about those and this is going to be basically about free presets so that you can get an idea about how these presets basically work so you can see the before and after for what we're going to be achieving at the end of this tutorial and if i told you find the video helpful i'll simply request that you hit the like button because this is going to help youtube push and recommend this video to many people out there so what we're going to be using we're going to be using the gradient map adjustment layer and in that we are going to be using basically photographic toning so some of you if i told you you are using an older version of photoshop I know you had photographic toning under the gradient maps but if at all maybe you updated the photoshop version that you are using and that photographic toning option kind of got lost from you i want to show you i can easily first of all achieve that or you can easily locate it within photoshop so simply come to window and make sure that gradients is selected so just come to window and make sure you select gradients so after doing that simply come under the color swatches or the gradient folder or window and click on these tiny lines right there and simply come and select legacy gradients so after doing that you can see that it has included a legacy gradient folder right here so it is in this folder that we're going to be finding our photographic toning tool or option that is going to enable us color grade this image for free without even having purchased a preset so we are going to come to the adjustments down here and simply come to gradient map so after coming to gradient map you are simply going to left click on any color showing right here so you left click on it once and scroll all the way down and you can see that we have legacy gradients and by the way this is my pack for the gradients that work for all skin tones so for this case we're going to be looking at the legacy gradients and when you scroll down you can see that we have photographic toning so this is what we are going to be using to color grade this image so simply click down and you can see that we have a number of presets embedded right here so for this case we just want to warm up the skin tone so in order to warm up the skin tone we're just going to come and simply select sapia and tick because this is close to a skin tone that we want and we're going to simply click ok so after doing this we don't want the effect to affect the brightest areas of this image we only want the effect to be affecting the mid-tones and the shadow areas of the skin so in order to get this better simply double click on, on the gradient map layer mask and it's going to open up the layer style dialog box right here in photoshop so we just want to eliminate the effect from affecting the highlights in the underlying layer so make sure blend if is set to gray right here so you come to the underlying layer and simply left click and hold down and you drag the effect from affecting the brightest areas of this image and when you feel like you're satisfied with that simply split this to refine the effect by holding the down the option key if at all you're using Mac, then if at all you're using Windows, you can use the alternate key on the keyboard and simply split this to refine them better. So you just split them so that it can blend well into the image. And after doing that, simply click OK and come to the blend mode and change it from normal and change it all the way down to soft light. So you can start to have a warm skin tone, but this is not all for this tutorial you can as well come to the opacity and play around with the opacity 
to the one of your likings around around 61 that is when i have a sweet spot for the skin tone but as you can see it is also affecting the overall image and we only want it to affect the skin tone area of this image so in order to refine that we're just going to come and select the white layer mask right here of the gradient map so make sure the white layer mask has been selected remember in photoshop white reveals and black hides so just want to hide the effect from affecting the whole image and review that effect by painting using a white brush so select the white layer mask and simply press ctrl i on the keyboard to invert the effect and you can see when you invert the effect you can see that it is going to hide the color grading from the image so by simply coming under the brushes and right clicking and getting the brush tool make sure the hardness is set all the way to zero and soft round brush has been selected the mode is normal opacity in the flat 100 percent with a smoothing of zero <coughs> make sure that you have black and white and if at all you have any other color on these color swatches you can left click on the tiny boxes so you can simply switch between black and red by using x on the keyboard or you can use the arrow key so like i said the brush has to be white meaning white has to be the foreground color and now we're just going to paint on the skin of the model And now you can start your done painting on the skin of the model and now it looks great and we have that nice rich and warm skin tone of this model at no cost so you can see the before after before after and if at all you have painted extras you can switch the brush back to black and you can eliminate the extras for example from the eyes if i told you didn't want to paint in the eye area or even the lips so this is the before after before after so this is how you can easily get rich and warm skin tones at a free cost or at no cost with the inbuilt preset regarding the gradient map filter in photoshop and you can see this is the before after before after and like i said play around with the opacity to see what works best for you so this is it for this video and if at all you have learned a thing or two from this video don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed to this channel Ronix from Ronix Photography thank you for watching and see you yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating